Hey, and welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy, the channel where we're talking baseball, we're breaking down players, we're just getting uh, into the weeds a little bit on players, and, and uh, today I am going to be comping uh, a kid in southeastern Wisconsin, Michael Lippi, one of the most toolsy players I think I've seen so far on video um, when, when taking a look at some of these amateur players. Um, and we're going to comp him to a, a very good big leaguer, an everyday big leaguer, who has also tooled up Randall Gritchick. But before we do that, uh, I want to just remind everybody that this channel is brought to you by Maggie Retino Real Estate. Make sure you're hitting me up or hitting my wife up on Instagram or on Twitter. Uh, she does a great job with all her clients if you are in the market to buy or sell a home. Uh, she has now teamed up with her little brother, Ricky Kuiper, who um, is uh, now getting into the real estate game as well. And he does a phenomenal job as well. If you um, are so inclined uh, to buy or sell, please reach out to them. Also brought to you by Lockdown Brewers podcast. Uh, make sure that you are tuning into the Lockdown Brewers Network, the Lockdown Brewers Podcast Network. Uh, Dom Catronio and I are breaking down everything that is related to the Milwaukee Brewers. And we are um, doing three days a week currently, and we are going to get into five days a week once the season starts. I think once the lockout ends, hopefully it ends sooner than later. But we have a lot of fun doing that show. And uh, we like to think of ourselves as a, a pretty good source for all your brewers news so make sure you're tuning into that as well so let's get into it getting into michael lippy gonna comp him like i said to randall gritchick so it's a pretty good comp here this kid is tooled up out of his mind we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a swing um we're just gonna take a look at a swing uh in in uh real time and uh without breaking it down slow motion and Oh, I just want to point out how fast these hands are. Incredibly quick hands. It's an 18-year-old ball player here um, from southeast, southeastern Wisconsin area. And uh, he also plays center field. <clears throat> and he absolutely has a cannon from the outfield. He, he's off the mound at 90 miles an hour, 92. Throws about 98 to 100 from the outfield. So this kid is tooled up out of his mind. What we're going to take a look at is a really good hitting position that both these guys get into. Obviously, Gritchick, the everyday big league player, does a, a great job of getting to that 50-50 spot. Actually, Gritchick goes a little bit past 50-50, as we can see. And then, uh, but he is he's loaded up. You can see that stretch. You can see the scap load. Same thing with Michael Lippi here. It is uh, a very good... Um, very good load, very good scap load right here. So he is loaded up and he's ready to fire. Uh, obviously a very, very strong individual. Um, what I like most about Gritchick's swing, and we're going to take a look at the same thing from Michael Lippi here, is the fact that they get so short. Their bats are very level through the hitting zone, but they're very short to the baseball, right? So there's um, what I like to take a look at here with players is how tight you can see that right here how tight that bat kind of rides to that back shoulder into the hitting zone uh, sometimes players <clears throat> do get a little bit longer you get their hands and their and their bat away from their body and there's a longer path to get to the baseball and get to the hitting zone but you do not see that from either of these players very short quick path direct path to the ball and that's what I'm highlighting here the hands and again the bat kind of riding that back shoulder so does both these guys do a great job of that so then from here it's just very direct to and through the ball okay and then obviously top hand up as they're making contact making contact out in front uh Grichik's actually getting the ball pretty deep I comp I comp these two guys together because Grichik is a tooled up player as well and he is extremely strong player so um, very strong through the upper body and lower body. And I, and I can see the same thing here from, from Michael Lippi. So um, bright future ahead of this kid. Um, like I said, I see a lot of comparisons to uh, a Randall Gritchick, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's, it's fun to watch these kids and fun to follow these kids as they go forward into their baseball career, but they are all doing kind of similar things to what major leaguers are doing. And if they're not, um, that's where, you know, good coaching comes in. Um, that's where, 
you can really kind of tweak some things. And, and when I talk about tweaking things with young players, um, I want to highlight the, the idea that these kinds of changes and these kinds of things that they're trying to figure out, um, they don't happen overnight. And that's kind of what I preach to the kids that I work with is that if you work on something, really focus on it, really, really be um, intentional about what you're doing each and every swing, when you're trying to make a swing change, you can do it small incre in small incremental changes and in small incremental type of progress. I was, was taught by my coach, Jack, she's still growing up. If you make a small change each and every day, um, pretty soon you're going to be a really good player, right? So um, it takes focus, it takes uh, mental energy, and it takes intention um, to be able to do that. I would highly recommend only doing that in the cage, not during the games, right? So when I, when I teach kids, I tell them my number one rule is to compete in the games. You compete against the pitcher with whatever swing you have that day. But anyway, my point in saying that is uh, it takes a lot of hard work. And obviously the kids that I've been breaking down on these videos have obviously put in a ton of hard work and it's been fun to kind of break these down and follow their careers going forward. So anyway, that's Michael Lippi. Uh, very talented player, um, tooled up, really tooled up, lightning hands. Obviously, uh, being a center fielder, he's, he's, he's very fast, runs a 6-5-60, and then also throw, has a cannon from the outfield. So looking forward to watching his career develop and uh, a Louisville commit. So obviously, he's going to a big-time program, uh, and we'll see what happens this spring. So fun to do these. Keep tuning in. Thanks.